They're not as big and not as fast. But the game they play on this football field mirrors the one former Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Sean Barber played nearly five years ago after a 10-year-long career in the NFL. It was the nature of the game when we played it. We were taught a different way. We were taught to lead with our heads. We were taught to put your head on the football, get your head across the bow. So every time we were coached, it had something to do with the head. But now, the caution flag has gone up for all those who play the game of football. Experts are trying to take their head out of the game because of the dangers that come along with the big hits. It can get scary. Uh, being a mother on the sideline, the first reaction you want to do is run out there and push everybody away to make sure my baby's okay. But, I mean, it's, it's fun for the kids. I just want them to make sure that they're doing this, that they're being taught the correct way to do this, the safe way. Teaching the safe way to play and tackle is what the Wyandotte Youth Football Heads Up Clinic is all about. The Heads Up Clinic showed players and parents the proper way to tackle to avoid head injuries and result in a safer football game. They implemented the saying, eyes up, heads up which teaches players to keep their heads up so that they can see what's going on in front of them and see who they are tackling. Doctors at the University of Kansas Hospital say that this type of education is the number one thing that can be done to prevent brain and head injuries. Number two, rule changes. Do we need to be making rule changes to make the game safer? Even the NFL's made some rule changes with special teams this year. And so those are things that we're all looking at to make sure that we're all well-educated and we're all an advocate to make sure the athletes are safe. 